Welcome. What is the multiplicity of a zero? So when we're talking about zeros, remember zeros are what we talked about where a graph you know, touches or crosses an x-intercept. So what we'll do is let's pretend, let's go through the process of actually finding the factors and the zeros, and then I'll explain a little bit more about the multiplicity and this definition here. So to find the x-intercepts or the zeros, we put 0 in for f of x, right? Because we want to find the graph when f of x equals 0. So now we say uh, x cubed minus 4x squared. And to find the factors, what I want to do is I'm going to use a process of factoring. So I want to factor out common terms. I notice that both of my terms have a common factor of x squared. So I'm going to factor out the x squared, leave me with an x minus 4. All right. So now what I want to do is I can say these are my two factors, right? Because these two multiply to give me this polynomial. So by using the definition of multiplicity, multiplicity is when you have a factor in this form, the exponent of that factor is going to be your multiplicity. And if your multiplicity, if k is odd, then your graph crosses at x equals a. And if k is even, your graph touches at x equals a. So I'll explain that here in just a second. Now here, this x squared doesn't look like it's in that form, right? So how can I write x squared in that form? Well, very simply, a is going to be 0. And I'm going to write it out there, and then I just want you to kind of think about it and see if it makes sense to you. Can we do that? x minus 0 squared, same thing as this. It's just x minus 0, which I, we know is x. But now I've written it in this form. So here you can see this factor is 2. Right? So therefore, at x equals 0, at my intercept 0, my graph is even, so it's going to, I'm um, sorry, my, fat, or my multiplicity is even, so the graph is going to touch at x equals a. And here, when there's no exponent, we know we can have raise, always raise it to the power of 1. I'm feeling a sneeze coming on, so if it happens, hold them with me, all right? So therefore, since this uh, exponent is odd, that means the graph is going to cross. Now, hopefully you've been kind of talking about odd or um, end behavior and stuff like that. And at least I have other videos that are on end behavior. But anyways, looking at this problem, I know it's odd. So therefore, odd and even. So it's going to fall to the left, rise to the right. So we have two zeros, right? We have a 0 at 0, an x or a, um, a solution at 0, and 1 at 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So when it's odd, I said it crosses, right? That means. It's going to cross there. Since it's an odd uh, multiplicity, it's going to cross. But the even, I said it just touches it. Well, using my end behavior, since it has to go up to the 0, if it's just going to touch it, that means it's going to have to rebound back down. It can't cross. So it just touches, rebounds, and then the graph's going to look something like that. All right. So when it's even, whenever you have an even multiplicity, it's going to touch the graph but not cross it. When you have an odd multiplicity, it's going to cross the graph. And that all depends on your factors. So write your factors out in factor form, and then look at the exponents. One quick note. This factor has a multiplicity of 1. It's the exponent of your factor, not the exponent of a inside of a factor. It's the exponent of your factor. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a little description of the multiplicity of 0. Hope you enjoyed.